hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be another installment of twist talks i am just going to be taking down the twist that i put in yesterday i just twisted my hair on freshly washed and wet hair and you guys know i don't usually do my twist outs on wet hair so i wanted to take it down on camera so you can see what those look like um the only product that i have is the melanin hair care multi-use pure oil blend i'll be putting that on my hands to take it down i have pick brush um i have some edge control and bobby pins because i usually pin up the front i don't want it in my face um so we're gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna try to make this a rather quick video um i washed my hair at about 11 let me take this off so i don't get oil on it maybe about 11 o'clock yesterday um and then did twist and just let it dry the entire time uh, until now and it is about 11 the next day so about 12 hours and this is what my twist look like there is a mirror right here so if you see me looking that is why um, because I'm trying to improve my video quality so I'm just gonna go through and separate um, I used a uh, I used a different leave-in yesterday. It was one that I got in my um, FabFitFun box. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so I used that leave-in. I still used the Melanin Hair Care Cream. I used my ORS Twist and Lock Gel. And then I used some of the oil blend once I had finished to kind of seal in the moisture. So, let me scoot up, see if you guys can see this. This is what we are working with. Definitely a lot, um, a lot shorter, more, more shrunk than my uh, blown out twist outs, but um, some pretty good definition. There are a couple of random pieces lingering around, but I think that's more user error than a product situation. So I'm just gonna go through and take them all out. So I wanted to come in and do this twist talk about how I have been holding on during these social distancing times, um, what I've been doing. And cause I know for a lot of people, I am already an introvert. So for the most part, this hasn't been too far outside of what you know I'm, I'm used to however i do like to get out and do things and it still has been a little uh you know stressful mentally um with all that's been going on but the biggest thing that has been working for me i for think i forgot to put oil on that side my bad um there's a little bit on my hands the biggest thing that has been working for me is keeping a routine um it has been so helpful y'all so i do um have the privilege of working from home which has been a blessing for sure uh so i wake up and plus we have the puppy if you have not seen um my last vlog make sure you go check it out we picked up a puppy her name is bailey she is half irish setter half mini poodle she is full of energy um but such a cutie and sweet when she wants to be um so i usually get to work at 6 30 that's my at my desk time um but i wake up around 5 15 because i live like seven minutes from my job um and so i've been keeping my same wake up time and i get myself ready go downstairs take her out feed her and then i hop online for the day um so i pretty much have been keeping my normal work schedule so I don't get thrown off too much. All right, here you go, up close. You can see I have some pretty good definition. Looks looks pretty good, y'all. Um, not crunchy, not hard. We'll see how it does once I start to fluff and separate. I'm gonna go grab some clips real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, got my clips in. Um, just gonna put a little bit more oil on my hands. Uh, but as I was saying, I love um, keeping my routine. So I wake up, get online. Um, I've been working, like I said, pretty much my same hours. 
Uh, I still try to keep my routine with my my eating schedule. Um, when I eat, I have been trying to stick with what I eat. That's been a little more difficult, but um, trying to keep in mind that you know when I'm at work, my meals are considerably smaller because I don't have the uh, advantage of having my my kitchen with me. So that's been a big thing. However. Um, I have been working out, you know, consistently for a while now. And right before this started, I had joined Orange Theory um, and I was doing pretty well. I was noticing a change in how my clothes fit and, you know, just overall body health. Uh, so I didn't want to mess that up. So I have been working out um, about four to five times a week when I usually, well, maybe like five to six when I usually um, only do three to four days a week. So it's been consisting of me going out and doing runs. So I've been doing about two to three mile runs uh, at least four times a week. And then I have my Orange Theory at home workouts. I have uh, been doing Zoom workouts with my best friend and some of her line sisters. Uh, just trying to find ways to keep you know, my routine as similar as possible while you know social distancing of course i do not you know want to be out in the street so um i have a kettlebell set that i got from aldi i have a set of dumbbells that i got from target they're 12 pounds i wanted some like 10 and 12 but once all of this happened people bought that stuff up like crazy so um, I have a set of 12 pounds. I have some resistance bands. I have yoga mats. I have a ladder that you, you know, you can do some agility workouts with. So I have a pretty good little set of things to get stuff done if I need to um, at home. And it's been very, very helpful. If nothing else, um, I don't pass many people on my path when I do go out. Um, so it gets me out of the house and I'm able to to breathe and just take a break because I'm pretty sure if I did not have that built into my schedule I might go a little crazy um, so this is what we're working with so far um, pretty good definition still a little frizzy um, on the ends but we'll see how it looks throughout um, what else have I been doing uh, I've still been trying to meal prep. That has been extremely helpful um, because Solomon's job has him teleworking three days out of the week. So uh, trying to maintain preparing three meals a day has been difficult, very difficult. Um, so we've been meal prepping, whether it's on the grill, we'll prep a bunch of meat and then change up the meals throughout the week. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, I've definitely been sharing a couple things. We've done some wings. We uh, cooked a bunch of chicken this week, chicken breast, and then I used it for tacos. I used it for pizza. I've used it just for regular, um, you know, chicken rice veg meals. Uh, just, just different ways to make things a little bit easier for us instead of having to stand in the kitchen and prepare food every day. And then that also, you know, ensures that I'm eating something that's not horrible for my system um let me see what else have i been doing i bought a nintendo switch you know trying to find ways to occupy my time uh that aren't negative so i bought a nintendo switch i got that yesterday bought a bunch of games i'm going to give zelda a try breath of the wild i bought fifa i bought mario kart some brain teaser type game so really excited about that um i've downloaded some audiobooks i am really into crime podcasts so i've been listening to those as well as my other podcasts which i absolutely love um and then also having bailey has you know us going out a lot more frequently to take her out for walks so i try to extend those walks just to get more steps in so all in all I definitely think that I am more active than I am when I am at work on the daily um, but I don't have the luxury of going to the gym which I would use at my job 
and then my orange theory gym so you know like i said keeping a routine making sure i'm active still meal prepping finding ways to occupy my time and putting some clothes on every now and again i do get up and change what i have on it might not be an outfit or something fancy but i do change into something um, and that has been helpful as well so i'm gonna go ahead and do the front half of my hair off camera so this video is not 75 minutes long because y'all don't care <laughs> here we go When I eat, I'll be lonely <sighs> Contemplating At a party with some friends Contemplating What's my life gonna be? Is there someone there for me? I've been winning by myself But now I need Who is that? Asking people around me Who is that? You just walked in the room Now my mind's all on you But don't be taken back we... Alright, so I did think of a few more things While I was separating on that side i have also um been organizing taking this time to like i've cleaned out both my closets i've kind of deep cleaned the kitchen um you know trying to go through deep clean the bathrooms just taking the time to get the house in order i have also uh kept up with my journaling i check in with myself you know let myself know that i'm allowed to feel my feelings uh you know if i I'm not having a good day because I watched the news or I read something you know I go ahead journal let you know write down what that emotion is what makes me feel that way um, what I can do about it that kind of thing um, that's been extremely helpful as long with as long along with uh, keeping up with my spiritual uh, journey so continuing to watch my sermons checking in with my church every Sunday uh, praying continuing to read the word you know that kind of thing those are my personal beliefs so that's what I have been doing to kind of help me um, push through and then another big thing has been continuing to still like have date nights and have fun um, you know in a way that doesn't harm anybody so I've ordered and got a bunch of games so you know we have game nights in the house um, today the weather's really nice so we're gonna drive out somewhere where there is nobody in the middle of an open field um and fly the drone uh because we cannot fly it in dc it's a no-fly zone um so we're gonna go somewhere where there are no people around and uh, take the drone up for a little bit so the dog can run around and play and we can get out of the house um you know just different ways to entertain ourselves during this interesting time um so for my twist out specifically i did not mention but i've said in all other videos where i've ever taken my twist down to make sure that you separate your hair where it naturally separates because that does create the least amount of frizz um if you have seen me throughout like so if there's a little frizz at the bottom i will go through twirl it around my finger um that helps a little bit to get the curl at the bottom more um, defined so it's not as frizzy. I'm just gonna. I've been lonely. I've been really, really lonely. I be buying things for me. I get food by myself. When I eat, I be lonely. go and I'm going to take a little bit of the front so like to right here I'm going to just bobby pin that out of the way pick up about the same amount on this side bobby pin that out of the way 
get a little edge control. This is the edge booster one I told you guys about, which looks a mess because I have not used it in so long. This is probably the first time I've put edge control on my hair since I've been home from work. And that was Mar the last day I went in the office was March 12th. So I'm just going to put a little around the perimeter, specifically focusing on the part that I'm about to bobby pin up. Just do a quick little brush. Now, mind you, um, I had those mini twists that you guys saw in the last two videos in for about three weeks. I took them out yesterday. So this is my first time wearing my hair out in three weeks. So we'll see how long it lasts. I actually really enjoyed the mini twists outside of them uh, starting to lock a little bit at the roots because I didn't do anything to them. All right, so I do the front, get it out of my face, and we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna back up so you guys can see. I'm not sure if you see. All right, guys, so this is the final product. As you can see, I did pin up the front. I did pin up the back a little bit to give it a little bit better shape across the back of my neck so I don't have random pieces just hanging down. Um, I do like it. It's just difficult getting used to my hair not being like down here when I do my twist out, but I am trying really hard not to use a bunch of heat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this twist talk. I know it might've been a little bit all over the place, but I just kind of wanted to come and share with you guys what I have been doing during these times to kind of keep myself on track. Um, so that when everything does go back to normal, um, I'm able to acclimate uh, easily. Um, I hope you guys are doing the same. Please continue to stay safe. I'm praying for all of you all that may have lost somebody to this, uh, this horrible virus. And I'm hoping that sometime soon, um, you know, the land will be healed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you guys like my hair. And I will see you guys in my next one.